Hello, this is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com and we are now on question four of the online arbitrage, the Q4 Q&A, where we're, we're covering the, the frequently asked questions. We're covering all things online arbitrage and what and helping, helping the community. And this question is gonna be all about, would you recommend using TA or OA sourcing lists at the beginning or from the beginning. So this may be your first Q4, you may just be getting going or, or whatever your situation is. What is my recommendations for getting started sourcing? So sourcing is the most important thing because that's where you're getting all your products from. But the truth is, sourcing is difficult. Sourcing is difficult. So number one, if you do have to do manual sourcing, I do recommend that you can speed this up. Use all the Chrome plugins, okay? Use all the Chrome plugins, which I'm gonna have another uh, question on that and asking and, and answering these questions. Um, another thing is, um, when it comes to TA and OA sourcing lists, I usually say, my personal recommendation is, start with OA sourcing lists and then move on to virtual assistants TA. The reason for this is when you're just getting started at the beginning, everything is gonna be a little bit more like, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm analyzing. I don't know if I'm right in analyzing this. Is this right? Is this wrong? And the truth is, what can happen is you get yourself overwhelmed, especially when you get into TA. Then you have to run the scans. Then you have to import and export and, and, and manipulate data and review and all these things. So my recommendation is always, as much as I recommend TA, and I really do, but get an OA sourcing list. You'll get 10 products per day. You get 10 products per day, and you can then start reviewing those products. You can then start reviewing those products as per um, sort of the, the, the criteria that you'll get reviewing. You can start looking at Camel, 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 Keeper, looking at the prices, looking at the products, get analyzing what's happening with sales rank, the price, uh, get what the FBA calculator, get using it all, and that's 10 per day, 10 per day. You don't have to run the scans, you don't have to export, you don't have to do any of that. I remember right at the beginning when I first started back in 2015, I would have to ask I would find a product after two hours manually sourcing and then ask my friends and they would go, great find or have you done this or you've not seen that and then it'd take me another three hours to find the next one. Whereas when you got t you got an OA sourcing list, you can use the online arbitrage mastery Facebook group. What do you think about this guys? Get the conversation started. People will be able to analyze uh, Keeper for you and analyze and give you feedback on what's right and what's wrong. Um, and then, of course, you can move on to tactical arbitrage because I do believe that it is very, very important to have multiple streams of sourcing, okay, which we're gonna get onto as well. So I hope that answers the question okay. I would recommend OA sourcing list. If you are interested, there's gonna be a link in the description to onlinearbitrageservices.com if you are interested. My name is Kev here from lifesuccessengineer.com. I am, uh, I guess, the founder of Online Arbitrage Mastery, the, the free course and the, the uh, the Facebook group, get the conversation started in there. I'd love to see you in there and I wish you all a very, very best of luck in Q4. In the next question, the next question, uh, we are going to be talking all about the consistency of sourcing. I'll see you then.